What up, guys? Hey, hey. I'm, I'm, I'm really trying hard not to skate this weekend, man. I'm in Saturday now. I made it past Friday. No skating. Got my little dude, Seth. Seth, say what up. What up? Killy? What up? Phoenix? What up? Yeah, so we've been in Austin now going on six years. And we've never appreciated any part of what it has naturally nature to offer. Some of the beautiful streams fed by crystal clear springs. So today we're going to go get our start. I've been on YouTube looking at some kayak videos. Um, I really think that's up my alley. I kind of want to rent one, try it out, see how I feel with like Killy or Phoenix on the back. Um, but I really want to get something small and be able to like bond some of these little tiny rivers and and things like that and see how it grows from there So I'm not really sure. I'm sure it's, it's probably like skateboarding and it can kind of be dangerous But so right now me and the kids are just gonna go out We're gonna look for a river and sort of get my children familiar with hiking around the river um, We don't know the first thing about this guys. So this is really something we're doing from square one. So hey guys, this is the big pipe and um, why and this is here behind me. Do you want to go in that pipe, Seth? Yes. Hey Seth, first off, can I hear your Trump impersonation? It's going to be itch. This pipe is? This pipe is going to be what? This, this pipe is going to be itch. Let's go. Seth. Seth Killy. Seth, it's fake news, man. See this? We got our water. Guys, when I got out of the car, we turned up. I'm going to say north. I always call things north. I have no, no, I have no idea what direction. But look at this pipe. I thought it was skatable. I thought it was concrete. There's probably bats in here. Let's go in and see. Walk where I'm walking, guys. Walk up on the side of this thing. Now, what if there was a flash flood? Should we go all the way down to the other side? Uh, I don't think so, Daddy. It's starting to get a little uh, bad. Wait, Daddy, wait up for us. Wait up for us, Daddy. I see some eyes. Yeah, come here. You guys see the eyes? Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on, guys. Get out. What the heck? All right, I got my kids. Dude, that was either the weirdest sounding car or there's some sort of jackal halfway down that tube. I gotta find out. We have my flash on and we're going back. I gotta know if those were eyes. Hey, if you're a person, just say something and we're gonna leave. See those two lights, like down on the ground? They're reflecting? Is it, is it a piece of trash? I mean, I wanted to go through this pipe and then, without my flash on. It's not, it's not, it's not. Look, you're walking here where it's all dangerous. You gotta stay at the bottom. Where are you? I'm holding your hand. Okay, we're gonna get out of here. No! Did you like it in here, Seth? Yes. It's cool. No, I mean like the temperature. It's no, actually cool. That noise is scary. Jeez. No, that noise is scary. Get ready, guys. To the Shower. other side. This, this <laughs> We are in the water with the fish. 
We got Dee Dee kicking with. Her and Killian got these like pool shoes on that their mom got them. Me and Seth are rocking Converse and Puma. And it smells a little stinchy over here. We gotta get to where the water's flowing. We're gonna be on the hunt for snakes. We're gonna look for snakes down here. We're probably sure to see some. Yeah, sn snakes. Oh, look how many fish are in this little section that's about to dry out. Look at this, they're, they're trapped. Look at all the fish over here, Seth. See them in the water? There's so many. Whoa. Let's catch them. Don't fall off, Seth. Yeah, look, those fish are tripping. There's no way out. Look, there's no way out for them. Bummer. Bummer, guys. Look at this. We got like, dude, the water gets deep down there. Yes. Yeah, but we don't want to swim in it probably unless it's flowing, so. You can see how neat this area would be. Look at these rock edges here. Like this would be a super cool stream to dive in later. Ooh, this is slick, Seth. It's super slick. Seth, I want you to hold Killy's hand. You two are gonna be better off. Look at the fish in here. So you gotta watch out for the sticks. You could trip on a stick. It's a little colder, huh? Boy, this next one we come to is big over here. Look at that rock. Look at that. You could just like sit under there. I want to come out here when there's not so much of a drought going on. Yeah, I don't even know if we can if we can hike through this next one. You want me to take that? You don't have anything in your pockets, do you guys? Because you're, you shorter people are getting into deeper water now. All right, here's where we're at. We got to get to that sandbar on the other side. So it looks a little deeper, a little harder to cross. I don't know if we're going to have a trail. I don't know. Let's see. We might have to double back and hit the trail over there because that looks like it gets a little deep. I'm not sure I'm committed to getting my shorts wet. And Thanks, Phoenix. I'm not sure I'm committed to getting my shorts wet until the water starts flowing more. This is still stagnant. We got fish everywhere in here though. Look at that. I don't know if this camera is going to show that one fish out there in the middle. I'm from Cali. We don't get in many streams. And darn straight don't see fish at good over 12 inches. That, there's two of them right down there. Those look like trout. Definitely over a foot long. That's sick right there. It's something I don't see often at all. A lot of bluegill too. Oh, finally we made it. The kids weren't wanting to go down that pig trail. I'm gonna call it a pig trail. I don't know what you uh, woodsmen people call it. You outdoors people. This is gonna be my new life, but look at how beautiful this is. This is really pretty. Is there some water that we can swim in though? That's what I wanna know. I brought some trunks. Wouldn't want to get in that water. Okay, let's keep walking down the shelf here. You know what, I think, hang on guys, I think we might be done on this upper portion. Let's go down in here. Okay, we'll follow you. You guys watch your step. I'm gonna, I'm gonna video from behind you.
Hope we get to some water that's flowing. It's really pretty out here. Honestly, a fish, if we don't get some water, there's a lot of fish gonna die out here. Well, this is why daddy said, let's go down. We got an area where we can go down right here. Right here. No, we're, well, yeah, go down right there then. There's a trail right here, Kelly. Yeah, go that way if you want. Way to help each other, boys. Good job, Dee Dee. Look at the cave up under that rock. Yeah. Look at this cave. Boy, we might have pulled a, uh, a stupid maneuver. I think we should have gone to something more traveled. You know, something a little more popular. We wanted to avoid the crowds. And then, so we found a bunch of stagnant water holes. All right, I'm gonna pop the phone away. We're gonna cover some more ground. All right, guys. So I blew it again. I don't research the hiking path or anything like that. And I start taking my kids down some single track alongside this stagnant, not flowing enough river. And uh, just didn't plan it out. My kids started getting spooked after a while in thick weeds. I mean, we were, we were passing through some thickly treed area there. It got, it got pretty hairy, so. We bumped into another hiker who told us just above the trail we were on was a better trail. So that's where we're all at now. And the kids pretty much want to get out of here. So we'll see if we can find the car. Yeah. Go pass. You recognize it? What? All right, so now we're hiking, and all of a sudden, we're out here in the pine trees, which is a little weird. So, we might wanna get back on the trail. Okay guys, hold on, let's think about it. Let's think about it, kids. If we keep, if we keep going down this trail, I have a feeling we're gonna get too far away we could get away from the car. We don't want to do that. So we're going to double back. We're going to find our other trail and we'll get back. Right? I'm like a hound dog. When it's uh, like a horse, a horse will always find his way back home, even if it's a campground. So when I get my kids out here, I am going to find our way back. So we're looking for a trail that goes right. This is the trail we walked in on over here. Killian, are you our navigator? So guys, we got back on our trail. We have the riverbed to our left side. That's where it should be. Phoenix, are you feeling pretty comfortable we're back on our trail? You see that riverbed on the side over there? That riverbed is an indication we're back on the trail that we came in on. This is taking us right back to where we came from. So we have absolutely nothing to worry about. We just gotta keep walking back on this tight trail. How's Seth doing? How's my little Grom? Is he behind me? Okay, we got Seth in the middle. Phoenix is in the back. Everything is really, really good. So as for outdoor stuff, dad's got to get better. I kind of failed. My boys are upset. My daughter's making it. She's 11. 
This guy in my arms here is four. Okay. We're almost back, guys. We're almost back. We found the water, it's behind us. Sometimes when someone tells you another trail, it might not go back to your parking lot, so. We really weren't on that trail for very long and it was really easy to walk. So, you wanna get down and walk now, Seth? You remember this spot. This spot was easy. Once we get around that one bush that's 50 yards up there, 30 yards, we'll, uh, we'll be able to see the area toward where the car's parked. See that up ahead? You recognize that? That's the water we walked through. You see our car? Oh yeah, up on the bridge. We'll probably see, be able to see our car pretty soon. Killy says he sees it. Watch your step, buddy. That road right there that those cars are on, that road will go right back to where our car is. All right, guys, we made it back. That was some very beginner stuff right there. Not very smart, okay? So I need to wise up on my woodsman skills, especially if I'm going with my children. We stayed decently hydrated. I started thinking about that at the end, how like really bad the situation could be if uh, I ran into any sort of dehydration issue out here, so. Because I am sweating galore. It's like a washcloth. The past uh, half mile, I had my son on my shoulders. My four-year-old Seth. So these kids are about to climb over, get into their seats, and we're going to get home to safety. Next time, we're going to plot our course better. Right, Seth? Yes. Yeah, so say, hey, guys, hit the like button for us. Hey, guys, hit the like for um. Uh, what? Say it hey again. Hey guys, like hit the like button for us. Hey guys, hit the like button for us. Yeah, right on. Boom. We're glad to get out of here today. The kids were highly getting concerned. I knew where we were at. I knew how to get back to the car, but I expected it to be more fun. All right. Peace out, dudes. Later. Not really. <laughs> get your feet off the ceiling, dude. <laughs> Cuz, get your dirty feet off the roof. Come on, man. All right, get in your seat. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Buckle your brother. Let's go. Look into my eyes. <laughs>